Well, good morning and welcome to your Sunday Gardener. I'm John Collins along with Gary Engel from Valley View Farms. Tips on ponds today. Of course, we've got a lake back here. <laughs> your pond may be more modest, like mine. Uh, but some ideas on how to have some interesting plantings and also how to keep it clean. Yeah, we've got some great things. These are floating planters, and this is nice. It has a large foam piece here. You can really just insert a pot. Uh, you can buy pots here. You can buy things already potted. This, these happen to be the Saracenias, the pitcher plants mm -hmm. that love sort of that boggy, wet area. Right. Here we have, I think this is Convolvulus. It's like a Mexican petunia, and down here, Lismachia. And again, both of these really love the we'll moisture. Love to have the roots and the wetness. Right. Yeah. Um, okay. And over here, another type of Saracenia. Um, I, I mean, these are just fun plants. You put them in, and you mm -hmm. can take a look back there and just see how well they're floating around. They do. And we got they, some grassy-looking plants back there, and, right? and everything else. And, and you can use all sorts of things. And there are other planters you can use that just just float that don't sit in water, mm -hmm. um, so there are different things to go with. So this is how it starts. You start with a pot and a foam ring. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to put in special aquatic soil, and what mm -hmm. it usually is is a lot of clay particles. All right, something like this. And these are very lightweight. Mm -hmm. Weren't you kind of surprised how light it was? Yeah, it is. It's, there's nothing to it. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's perlite, that light, but it's almost. And right. then, then this almost looks like mulch. Yeah, but it's kind of a, a PD mixture, a peat mm -hmm. humus type yeah. thing. So you mix those together. I think it's like two to one. Mix on up, put your plants in there. Um, so if we Self watering, to do that, too. <laughs> you got it. Right. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Um, things like the Venus fly traps would do real well in there. A lot of the things that we carry here as bog plants or marginal plants would do mm -hmm. well. Um, so, you know, there's loads of stuff that'll fit in. And things like mint. Mint is mentha aquatica, so you know that that likes water. Loves water. Now, here's something, too. We mentioned uh, keeping a pond clean. So, a variation on, on this theme is what is it? Looks like uh, something I. <laughs> this is barley straw, and barley straw just has a natural algae inhibitor in it, so it's really great. And and you can take these in flakes and just put them out, or even in bales and set them in several spots. But we're going to make a planter out of this. Okay, so we take this mint, take the roots, and jam them down just in there. Plant them in there pretty good. All right. Easier said than done, right? Mm -hmm. But that that does it. And with mint, you know those roots are going to take off. They'll so take off, and they've not got a real water. Problem. Oh, it smells so good. Oh yes, it does. <laughs> And then, if you'd be so kind to just place it in the pond and let it float away. All right. There it goes. Now, will that sink a little bit? It, it will. I mean, as it gets wetter, it'll the water line will be up on it a little bit. But mm -hmm. it does fine. And again, it's a natural shade area for all those koi that are so enjoying life in there. Mm -hmm. um, but it's also going to help that. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours, guys. We've got a little while yet. <laughs> so that helps filter the pond, at least hold the algae down. It gives you a plant to boot. It does, and, and we've done house plants. We've used anthurium in there, all sorts yeah. of stuff. So you're not limited. All right, tips on your pond, big or little, right? And ways to decorate it and keep it clean. That's right. Terry, thanks for joining us this Thank morning. You. Next Sunday, more about your garden or pond on Sunday Garden. We'll see you later.